Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the interconversion between various concentration units. We're going to calculate the molality, molarity, and mole fraction for a 10.5% mass percent aqueous solution of ammonia. And that solution has a density of 0.9651. So the first thing we're going to tackle is this molality. We have to in determine what the definition of molality is and figure out what we need to plug in in order to determine what it is. So, molality is equal to moles of the solute, which in this case is the ammonia, that's the thing that's being dissolved, divided by kilograms of the solvent. The solvent in this case is water. We know that because we're told that it is an aqueous solution. So now that we know what we need, we just have to figure out moles of ammonia divided by kilograms of solvent, and that will give us our molality. So let's first talk about how we're going to determine how much of each one of these components we have. There's a little bit of a trick. We know that we have a 10.5% mass percent solution. When you're given just a mass percent solution, you can assume that you have as much of it as you want. But in order to make our lives easy, we're going to assume that we have 100 grams of the solution. With 100 grams of the solution, we can use that 10.5% as a conversion factor to very easily determine how much of each component we have. So for every 100 grams of the solution, we know that 10.5 grams is the solute of ammonia. So that means we have 10.5 grams of ammonia in our solution. So we can easily convert between grams and moles using the molecular weight to get the top part of our fraction to determine the molality. And now we need to figure out how much water we have. Well, in that 100 grams of solution, 10.5 of it is made up of ammonia and the rest is made up of water. So we're going to take our 100 grams of the solution, subtract out how much of that is made up of the solute, and we're left with the rest being water, giving us 89.5 grams of water. Now we can just convert these ammonia into moles, water into kilograms to solve for the molality. So 10.5 grams of ammonia, the molecular weight of ammonia is 17.04 grams per mole. giving us 0 0.6162 moles of ammonia. We have four significant figures because every one of what we've been given in the problem has four significant figures. This number is very important, this six, 0 0.6162 moles of ammonia. When we determine the molarity as well as the mole fraction, we're going to need it again and again. Now we're going to convert into kilograms of water we know that we have 89.5 grams and there's a thousand grams in one kilogram giving us 0 0.0895 kilograms of water. In order to solve for the molality we simply divide those two and we're left with the molality of 6.885 molal. So that's our molality. That's the first thing that the question is asking for. Let's move on and solve for molarity. Molarity is equal to moles of the solute per liter of the solution. We already know the moles of the solute. We solved for it in the previous solving for molality, and we're going to be using it again here. So the moles of the solute of the ammonia is 0 0.6162. So we already have the top part of our fraction in order to determine the molarity. Now we need to figure out the liters of the solution. What do we know about this solution? We know that we have 100 grams of it. Again, the solution is the total water plus ammonia. And we know its density. 
Density is the relationship that will get you between a weight and a volume, which is exactly what we need here. So for every 0 0.9651 grams of the solution, there is one milliliter. And there's a thousand milliliters in one liter, which means the amount of solution that we have is 0 0.1 zero three six liters. In order to determine the molarity you just divide the two. Zero point six one six two moles of our solute divided by zero point one zero three six liters of solution gives us a molarity of five point nine four eight molar. So we solve for molality, we solve for molarity. Next up, we're going to be solving for the mole fraction. The mole fraction of this solution is defined as the moles of the solute, which is the ammonia, divided by the total moles, the moles of the solvent of water, plus the moles of that solute of ammonia again. We've already solved for some of the things that are going to go into this. As I mentioned previously, we've already solved for the moles of ammonia. We solved for that in molality. We used it again in molarity. And we're going to need to know something about the water. When we solve for molality, one of the things we solved for was how many grams of water we have. So we know we have 89.50 grams. So we have the top part of our fraction. We have moles of the solute. We have part of our bottom part of our fraction. We have moles of solute as well. All we need to solve for is the moles, moles of the solvent. So we're going to take 89.50 grams of water solvent using the molecular weight, 18.02 grams of water in every mole of water tells us that we have a total of 4.967 moles of water. That gives us our mole fraction to be 0 0.6162 divided by 4.967 plus 0 0.6162 gives us a mole fraction of 0 0.1104.